We're going on two months now since our last bit of official information for Modern Warfare 2, and the anticipation absolutely is building. I know that tons of people are eagerly awaiting what's next, and while we have a bit more coming on the horizon, we actually got a sneak peek, whereas we maybe weren't supposed to, thanks to a few NFL players who leaked a bit of the game at an early play session. Today, we're breaking down what we learned here out of that and what you should be aware of going into this weekend here for what looks to be an announcement of some kind with Modern Warfare 2. Today, we're breaking it all down for you, so drop your thoughts below. Are you looking forward to the Modern Warfare 2 details that we learned of today, the announcement happening as of this weekend at COD Champs, or anything else, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, do be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay today with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything Call of Duty related. And finally, for this weekend in COD Champs, my friends over at Gamer Advantage have an increased sale going on where Code Espresso is for the rare time, 20% off, but also a bit of a chance to win some cool prizes even, but more on them in just a bit. For now, let's take a look at what was leaked and what's still upcoming, officially speaking. So for the sourcing of this, this actually comes out from a few NFL players on the Los Angeles Rams. Given that they're the hometown team for the LA area and Infinity Ward, Activision, and unrelated to this project, Treyarch are all centralized in the LA area. It was a logical pro athlete times gaming crossover that we see happen on a sort of regular basis on how Call of Duty likes to do some of their marketing. Now, as per normal, when it comes to non-gaming related events, things tend to leak, whether intentionally or unintentionally, and two things in particular, or rather maybe three, ended up leaking here out of this event, two of which though being what I believe to be new. The third, up in the air. The first image that we ended up seeing was actually that of the in-game menu for a private match here, which doesn't show off a lot in terms of gameplay, but it showcases a little bit about what we can expect to see in some of the functionality and the user interface that we'll see coming for the full game of Modern Warfare. Of course, we end up seeing our main tabs of play, weapons, operators, barracks. Then you also have some stuff like up on the upper right of profile, notifications, friends list, and what may look like a rank perhaps, but anyways, that's consistent with some of the menus that we saw in the gunsmith area of our pre-briefing here before the reveal of Modern Warfare 2, but also it's in line with the rumored Call of Duty HQ that we've been hearing about for a little bit of time now, that people have apparently been pulled from things like Hulu and other streaming platforms to make a UI similar to those, a streamlined hub for all things Call of Duty. But for that alone, not to really deviate discussion too much, I'm really curious what the Call of Duty HQ is going to be without it becoming a redundancy. Like, there's got to be more to it if you boot into the Call of Duty HQ and then into a game, right? I mean, otherwise, it's just the Call of Duty launcher, which if somebody doesn't play any other games from Activision and Blizzard, that's essentially what the BNet launcher is right now on PC. So there's got to be more to it, right? But anyways, that's the sort of start of it here. We ended up seeing that there's also a few things like the start match options, game setup, lobby members, Codcaster. We end up seeing that map of museum that was leaked here a little bit earlier. We see some assets for starting match, the game setup and Codcaster also there, which again, kind of redundancy. I would imagine that's maybe an alpha placeholder where we're not using the same assets as Modern Warfare 2019, but for some of the base builds, it just hasn't been removed just yet. The one thing that I do find kind of interesting here out of this user interface look in is that we have things like specific invites for game codes, it seems, if necessary, where that might not necessarily affect you or I if we just jump into private match and play with one or two of our friends. But if it's for big hosted events like the World Series of Warzone and stuff like that, they end up giving custom lobby invites so that they're able to accommodate large amounts of players. But it's not something that somebody can just join up on. You need that lobby code. So it seems like this may be coming as a mainline feature now within the private match functionality for Modern Warfare 2, which is pretty cool. We also see that lobbies can expire at that point if it is a sort of specialized lobby overall. But then outside of that, the only other stuff we end up seeing is that there's some customization here for how we may be able to customize our operators pregame. Now, normally that's something that we'll see in the pregame lobbies the last couple of years, but this might take it a step further because it looks like there's some vehicles there as well. You'll of course be able to customize your operator and their uniforms, but that was our first look at the menus. No official real gameplay out of that one. I know some people were kind of bagging on this because it looks similar to Modern Warfare 2019, which to me is kind of a no-brainer. I don't know if that's a hot take or anything, but I mean, Modern Warfare 2 is a sequel to Modern Warfare 2019. Of course, there's going to be some similarities and maybe even direct crossover. User interface, menu stuff, lesser of importance to me. But another image that was leaked here was something that showcased 
DMZ. It didn't really showcase any gameplay, but instead was more so just the menus and mode selection, which right off the top, I'm curious to see how this will work out in Modern Warfare 2, because the menu that was showcased kind of reminds me of the hybrid between the current shop that we've seen the last three years for Call of Duty, but also mixed with a sort of mode selection for like World War II on that main menu, where they're tiled instead of listed. So curious to see what becomes of that, but why this is interesting is because DMZ is prominently displayed there, despite never officially being announced, never officially stated by Call of Duty, Infinity Ward, none of those socials, and even in the pre-reveal briefing that we had with Infinity Ward, and presumably those that actually went out to LA as well, and not just the Zoom meeting that we had, it was never specified anywhere outside of leaks. So while it may be one of the worst kept secrets, it's our first look at what DMZ actually will entail within Modern Warfare 2 as the sort of third or potentially fourth mode coming with the game, given that Spec Ops is indeed coming. But for those that are unaware, a quick little rundown, what is DMZ? While no official gameplay or details are out there just yet to sort of corroborate this from an official standpoint from Infinity Ward or Call of Duty, it's apparently going to be very similar to Escape from Tarkov, a looter shooter where you drop in, extract, collect as much as possible as you can during each of these raids, and then try and escape with your life and whatever loot you pick up along the way. Now, as for how deep this goes, if it goes the entire level of Tarkov, that'd be pretty cool, but it's Call of Duty's take on this, whereas they were not the first to do the Battle Royale genre, they're not the first to do the looter shooter and extract mode either. So it's just their take on it, giving something new here, which I'm very excited to learn more about in the future. But talking gameplay, we said there was none here that was actually leaked out of it. There was a sequence that was posted on another Rams player's story that showcased air quote gameplay, but I think people are jumping the gun here on this. That looks to be exactly the same as the Darkwater mission that we saw at Summer Games Fest right after the reveal of Modern Warfare 2. So that I wouldn't get too excited for just yet. We ended up learning a little bit here out of these leaks so far. Now, officially speaking, this is where we're kind of starting to see things ramp up. And it actually wasn't announced in relation to this to kind of drown out those leaks that happened. This actually was announced earlier yesterday before the leaks actually came out. But Call of Duty and the Call of Duty League tweeted about a transmission incoming where we should tune into Call of Duty Champs Sunday, where members of Infinity Ward will be sharing new information about Modern Warfare 2 over on the Call of Duty League's YouTube channel. Now, this is where we're going to see our next official bit of information this upcoming Sunday. Now, COD Champs kicks off at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, but it's not going to likely start out that broadcast. It'll be shortly there into it, but Here's the thing, don't get your hopes up for this being the official multiplayer reveal or anything like that. This is more than likely just going to be an announcement of said reveal. This happened exactly the same way last year. After map two, about an hour and a half into the broadcast, that's when we ended up seeing that there was a pre-recorded segment with Miles Ross of the CDL and Greg Rasdorf of Sledgehammer talking about the upcoming reveal of multiplayer and the beta dates to follow. The first time that we'd really heard about any details like that. So if I'm guessing, it's gonna be the same thing here. Something that some people from Infinity Ward come over and confirm a reveal date and perhaps even an event that goes along with it and when you can jump in and get hands-on access for yourself with the beta dates but it won't actually showcase any sort of gameplay there during COD Champs. Again, just a sort of, hey, come back and tune in for this next event that we're hosting so they don't take too much of the focus away from COD Champs and instead just bring players back. So that's what I would expect here with this, but officially speaking, something is coming as of this Sunday. Now, that's kind of all that we have here out of the last 24 hours, but before we go, one final thing here tying into this weekend in COD Champs that you should be aware of, starting tomorrow, not quite today, but tomorrow, my friends over at Gamer Advantage are running a promo for COD Champs and also have a little competition in of itself alongside that. You guys know about Gamer Advantage already. I've talked about them so much here on the channel. They're my advantage in my daily workflow, the most comfortable, durable, and lightweight frames on the market that are clinically proven. But what you don't know is that not only does Code Espresso get you 10% off your order normally, but this weekend, starting tomorrow for COD Champs, there's a site-wide 10% bonus that also boosts Code Espresso to 20% off. Plus, on top of that, they're running a competition where each partner is tied to a CDL team, and whoever wins Champs, that team's partner code usage, they end up getting an additional $50 gift card included with their order. So for this event, I'm tethered to the LA Thieves. So here's how that works. Head over to Gamer Advantage. At the very least, learn more about the science of what they have on offer. They're such a good company, such a good product. Seriously, I definitely at least say look into it. But if you guys want to pick something up starting tomorrow, Code Espresso nets you that rare 20% off discount. Seriously, this weekend is as best a time as any to pick something up. 20% does not come around often. And then if the LA Thieves win champs and you use Code Espresso, you'll end up getting a $50 gift card on top of all of that. So pretty wicked deal if you ask me. Check them out and stay tuned for all the action 
action this weekend with the champs and of course that modern warfare 2 announcement officially incoming but for now that's what we're gonna call it i'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below what do you guys think of these leaks here is there anything that really stood out to you that you're liking disliking what are the case feel free to drop your thoughts but if you enjoyed the video you found it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on the video and if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing running all things modern warfare 2 upcoming both in the near future and of course our coverage throughout the beta and launch to follow so that said if you want to stay with all of that i'd love to have you in the community for now though thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace